can we do machine learning application development with UA path? My answer to it is yes. Let me show you the demo first. Uh, let, this is a semantic analysis. So let me tell you one example here. Uh, something like John is a very good, very good football player. I'm running a bot here and I'm entering the text data to it. And we are going to see what is the semantics for that. Okay. So I have given the input for that. Uh, as a John is a good football player. So let's wait and see what's the output we are going to get uh, for that. So if you see here, this is a positive statement and the polarity is also 98.2. Uh, so if you see here, this is a positive one. So let me run one more time and see what is the, what is the output that we are going to get. So here very good is, is denoted by positive here. And uh, if I do it, uh, Karthik, that is myself, is very bad at uh, programming. Am I? No, I'm not. I'm decent. Yeah, let's see. So you can see negative statement came. So uh, this is a polarity. That is a semantics. The sentiment of that particular statement is negative. So you must be asking, so where do I go to use this particular kind of things? Okay. What is a big deal if it is a positive, if it is a negative? Okay. But the thing is like, if you see some applications where user, uh, user reviews are very much important. If you see something like Amazon, where you are buying something and where your reviews, okay, you will going to see the user's reviews. So they will take this as an input and they will feed it to the semantic analysis tool that is developed by themselves. So, and they will come to know whether it's a positive, negative or neutral kind of thing. And they'll send you based on that. Okay. For the given application, they, they'll say like this many positive reviews are there, this many reviews native reviews are there this is a uh, neutral reviews are there okay so let's uh, let me get started i myself karthik usually upload video once in a week so if you're new here can you subscribing it i'm i'm implementing this here so i'm taking a one uh, one empty sequence now uh, so my laptop is too slow today so please bear with me so i have taken one empty sequence here so uh, yeah before going into that you need to know uh, you need to have that uh, key uh, you need to have that user id and password that is a key generation and that this is the key i have uh, once you sign up here this is a key that i have that i'm going to show you oh i'm going to show you in a minute uh, now I'm going to explain how we can get an API general API call for this uh, test alien test analysis API therefore we're providing some free uh, free trial here and that will be like you can make thousand calls per day so let's uh, let's try to use this API and understand uh, the machine learning concepts in UI path how we can explore different different uh, use cases out of this we are going to uh, see here so uh, just go to the sign up page here I'm going to put it in a description as well so uh, fill this form so let me fill this form and uh, once you fill this form they will give you one uh, free API call API key actually and uh, with that we can uh, explore few um, few uh, features of it so NF, I'm a developer. Password you need to mention. Any any suggestion? Chrome will save this password. Any suggestions it is giving? So, um, okay. Normal password I'll give. All the hash tricks are mandatory. So, I think I have given everything. Okay, telephone is not. So I clicked on the sign up button. Uh, then um, we need to uh, getting started. Um, check check your mail and grab the API key. So the API key will come to the mail. So I'm uh, excited about that API key. Man. Let's see. If we have that, we can explore few features. So yeah, I'm opening my mail here. So. 
so I think I should be having an API key here uh, so let's see activate activate your account something I got here uh, activate your account you need to activate here so I clicked on that I got an account username I got if you have a problem activate support thanks for this but where is an API key where is an API key here let me go back and see is there any other API key I got here uh, API ID you can view and manage the API key and API ID here text API okay let me again login user ID or email ID so for that there is an API yeah this is a API key and app ID also they given here endpoint also they given here like this uh, you can uh, you can generate the API key I hope it's informative let's see other features so guys I hope you guys must be having a use uh, key and app ID as a, uh, now so uh, I hope that previous uh, small uh, demo is useful for you guys to generate the, that uh, key and app ID. So let me go and implement this one. So in order to implement this one, I need HTTP client, HTTP request here. So let me pull that HTTP request here. My gosh, it's very, very slow my laptop today. Uh, come on, put it here. my laptop today it's damn slow man seriously yeah so uh, end point for this semantic analysis and how we can configure the uh, those things i'm going to show you now come on man seriously hey it's damn damn slow god please help me with this laptop i need to complete this demo now so uh, guys uh, so i hope that you guys might have seen my previous video where i have explained about the language detector application uh, on the on the same kind of uh, api that i have used the alien api so Please do try this kind of applications at your home. This will always helps you out uh, in building a knowledge. Okay, so in this is for the concept that they have explained. So for the sentiment analysis, what I am going to do is uh, all the things end point. This is called end point here. That means that you uh, are you are end you are well here. So all the things will will work in the same manner. Okay, so uh, just need to just. Uh, put your end point differently okay for the sentiment this is like sentiment analysis i have to use something like sentiment here and you need to send parameters here okay you need to send parameters if you see here request to the api must be authorized by adding the following headers okay these are the headers here so one is the application key and application id that you will get it just now i have explained it previously so application header is this one put your code data here and value for the application header is application key na application key is this one i'm going to use that here yes application header the one more application header i need to add here here this one is application header okay application I have added I have added application key right key what I have kept application key only application key only correct only next up app ID I need to give so copy paste here put it here app ID put the value here Then you need to send the parameter that is the text that is going to take it here okay parameter let me uh, give
give something as as of now something as um, john is a good player okay this is the uh, thing that i am giving let me see the preview of it how i am going to get the output this is really important if you don't have the preview then you have to validate the preview whether you are getting properly enough so i have clicked on the preview so it will actually hit that particular thing okay failed because the location uh, parameter type it has taken okay so it, it is actually failed here because of something let's see api value parameter yeah here i need to give parameter name as text okay so again now let me see now you can see positive statement because here we have given good player okay good symbolizes the positivity there have added that here in the after once we develop it here properly then we'll add it from the string okay now let me see what is a uh, what is the output value we are going to get okay so let me create one variable here something like the response come on again it's too slow yeah got created then uh, let me try to pin that come on man don't make me irritated your laptop please come god it's damn slow yeah, i'll do something like i'll close all these kind of tabs just to make it a little bit faster search box seriously i have typed message and you take only mg as of now please message aha response we are using that response here and let me do one more thing let me try to get the input data from the text to dialog input dialog box okay input input dialog let me put that here and enter something as please enter the text enter the text result as something like uh, uh, input and i am going to pass that input here here if you see here uh, parameter section in the parameter section click on it just wait it's loading yeah instead of all these things let me keep something like input click on okay now let me run this now i i should be getting the uh, proper json object once we pass the json object we can we can fit to use that uh, data in our applications okay so i have started running the bot so uh, it's it's running it so i hope this sentiment analysis what is mean by sentiment analysis is you people might have got it from the text it will identify the human sentiment of it human sentiment is as a good bad negative neutral those kind of things it will identify okay so i have run this now you you can see is asking me to enter the data so let me enter something like uh tick ui path knowledge is okay if i type something like okay you should get i should get something like neutral kind of thing so let's see i have i have feeded the input data now you can see you can see here neutral we got it and subjectivity is subject to and polarity also we got it okay so uh, now how i am going to pass that json here okay 
that if you see in here that is a gestured JSON object so I'm going to use deserialized JSON of it and I'm going to pass that RGS here and uh, response here is like JS I have taken something like JS now let me put that here yes here only and let me pass JS of polarity polarity yes to string So let me run this application again. Now uh, let me feed into data something like Kartik uh, programming is good. So once I have feeded that, now it should draw me post to statement here. Let me see. Okay, we got something like null point exception we got something like null pointer exception i think this object might not be there so uh, let me see what is the object I, I have used previously that object is polarity correct only response correct only request response one okay no problem let me try to print the object first then we'll see how we can get it once the response came let me print here this is rgs of that right so response of http request is rgs and that rgs i am feeding into json object that is a js and js after that i am i'm passing the what i needed the most okay so so let me run this application again and see uh, have started running the application so bear with me my system is damn slow today yeah Sachin is, is very good cricketer so uh, polarity I should be getting it properly right? null point of exception not set to the object second j is got created here j object yeah that is no problem that once you have the json object that's just a passing so what i have did here j response uh -huh. json string input is input to it is response yeah and uh, this one is js1 this one of polarity yeah no problem once you have this one you can directly pass it as of now i don't know why it's not coming properly uh, just do that i have explained the same thing in my previous video as well if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment section so that i can help you more on it and please do subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so much